Yeah, so we put together an event to showcase our vendor partners' technologies. Specifically, we wanted to show connected vehicle applications that made school zones safer and it safer for our emergency vehicle services to respond. With the AI products, I think uh, the showcase at Bloomington, a lot of people did not realize the technology that was out there that AI could provide and uh, the support that TCC and AI would be able to provide to the customer. So one of the booths that we had at the Smart City Showcase was featuring the connected school beacons. And one of the functionality that I kept getting a ton of questions about were the reports that could be generated from the school beacon software glance. And several of the municipalities identified that the information from the alerts that could be generated for lamp out failures or solar power conditions or batteries that are failing, those reports would be helpful in empowering not only just you know their public works department to go repair those things, uh, to make kind of a one trip deployment for those repairs, but also to look at historical data as far as trends on batteries, um, you know different parts that they want to order and have in stock should those systems fail. It was exciting to see John Lozato, our president, and Joe Spadali, our vice president, also attend this event. Not only attend, but also to take our guests on the demo rides with our Teslas to showcase this smart city technology. So our demo route took place on two of the busiest corridors in the city of Bloomington, which is College and Walnut. And what we were showing people through the Travel Safely app was getting ready for greens when you're sitting at red lights. We were showing them the signal phase, the timing, when that was gonna be green next. We would show them when we were approaching a red light too quickly. Then we moved into a school zone and it notified us that we were entering a school zone. And then when we purposefully, but very slightly, sped through that school zone, we got an alert that we were speeding through the school zone. Finally, John was able to show what the preemption looks like for the emergency services by getting green lights for the rest of the trip back to the hotel. This is reducing travel time for the emergency services. The last session that was presented included information regarding bike technology through Applied Information's products. We had representatives from specifically college towns, uh, Purdue and Indiana University. They saw a lot of value in the fact that you could serve priority to those Peloton groups. It was kind of neat to see uh, two town colleges talking together and uh, probably bring something back to their leaders. The other thing I really loved about this event was that it planted seeds of thoughts into people's minds about what their municipality could look like. How do we get my community to look like Bloomington?